I'm going to show you how I made this out of a log and some paint. It's a solid walnut. Not a whole lot to it. Got some little feet on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this measurement and chop this piece off real quick. Where your safety equipment? My chainsaw is pretty dull, so I wanted to walk on me a little bit on this top cut. Um, you can take a bandsaw and make the top cut parallel with the bottom, or a good sharp chainsaw should get you a little better. Uh, in my case, I have a sawmill. I'm gonna take it and run across the top and straighten it out. I've attached the block down here to a piece of OSB. That way I can work on it without it moving everywhere. It'll really help me later on so that I can clamp down these outsides uh, and I have plenty of space here to work on it. I'm going to go ahead and draw out my blocks as far as the face goes just to make sure everything lines up as it should. I said two inches earlier. I may go with an inch and three quarter. These outside ones I'll drop down just to give it some dimension. I've taken the sketch to face on real quick just so you can see this is dropped down from these three along with that one. I've also put on a mark half inch from the face here. I'm going to run my circular saw across this. That way my blocks are all back a half an inch off of this base. And it'll give me a little more dimension as well. Now that's cut, I'm going to take and flip this over on the side. And I'm going to cut this line here. Since this is a half inch back, that cut is, I'm going to set my cut depth to about a half inch. Don't need that no more. Now, I'm going to take and cut these lines here the same way I just did. I'm going to set them about half inch. Then after that, I'm going to take my saw and run across the top again, all the way at the deepest setting, and try and get this block off here and that block off there. As you can see, that's giving it a little more dimension here. I've also redrawn my lines across. Now I'm gonna take my circular saw and notch out these outside blocks downwards a half inch since they are dropping a half inch. As you see, we have these blocks dropped down here. Now I've gotta get these blocks on the sides off. I'm gonna do that by taking a multi-tool cutting off that shoulder, running my circular saw this way uh, at two inches deep, and then multi-tooling off the outside edge here to pull them off on both sides. Now I'm gonna take the shaper tool on a grinder and pull down all the shoulders around the blocks. All of this here, being careful not to go into the face at all with it. And the same on the rear. All of this back here I've got blacked out. We're gonna pull it down and be careful not to hit that edge. And there you have it. That's it all shaped in pretty well. All the way around leaving that bark on the back for some texture. And making sure you don't run into that line too much at all. Try and stay off of it. Next step is to sand it down real good and then uh, we're on the paint. There we go. Looks like we're ready for paint.
here we are now i'm going to stick some of these feet on the bottom of it and spray it with clear and that pretty much wraps it up i threw two coats on that uh, this is what i'm using if you will give me a like subscribe comment let me know if you like it let me know if it's absolute trash <laughs>